at 40 years, 80% of the eggs would have an abnormality in them. So it's not just the number of eggs or it's not just the AMH value that a lot of the people they are trying to check and think that, okay, we have this many number of eggs. It's not a report card. Okay. The quality matters, the DNA matters. And ultimately, you want to have a baby who's nine months old. You don't want a pregnancy positive. You want the pregnancy to go on healthy. Do you think egg count is reducing because of age or even the lifestyle habit? Or is it just the age? Women are born with around a million eggs at birth. Yeah. When they are getting their first period roughly around 12 or 13 years of age, mm -hmm. they have around 5 lakh eggs. Okay. And then after that, at the age of 20, they have around 1 lakh. Around the age of 35, they're left with 10,000. And after the age of 40, they are left with just a thousand eggs. Okay. And it's not just the number, mm. it's the quality of the DNA inside the egg also. So at age of 25, 90% of the eggs are having a healthy DNA. But at the age of 30, around 80% to 70% are having normal DNA. At the age of 35, it's around 50%. So that means 50% of the eggs are having abnormal genetic material. Can you imagine how high the risk is going?